Election. So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to build election dashboards in Looker Studio. So I'm going to use the recent 2024 election in the US, and I'm going to show you how to build a dashboard with a number of different elements. So these are geo maps, and they have optional parameters on them, a method to filter. I'm going to use state for this filtering, and also the main table, which tracks the votes itself. So just starting on the data. So I found a BBC site to get some inspiration for the dashboard and also also to find the data here. So the data is available on this page here. I essentially just copied and pasted this data and then I stuck it into Google Sheets. I cleaned the data up a little bit from my dashboard, just really streamlining those candidate names and taking out third party candidates that were just muddying up the dashboard with just some extra information. So I'm starting off with a blank Looker Studio dashboard here, and I'm going into sheets as a data source and picking that sheet that I just showed you before. I'm going to add this to the dashboard and this will come up with an initial bit of data here. Just gonna delete that out and really focus on the design for my page. So I'm actually gonna start out in Canva and start building out a title for this dashboard and just a graphic here. So I'm doing 2,500 by 300 pixels and my color selection is really important here and I'll show you in a minute why that is. So first I'm gonna upload that into my dashboard. This will come in like this, but just make it a bigger in the dashboard itself. And that's the start of my dashboard. And I can go on theme. And this is really fancy thing about Looker Studio. You can go to extract theme from image, extract the theme from that image, and that does all your colors for you. So I'm gonna pick this one and I'm gonna start adding charts. And really I don't have to worry too much about styling from now on in. I'm gonna make my table here. This is the first thing I'm gonna do. It's a table with bars and what I can do here is I can just add the party because that's what I'm looking at and I'm going to add the votes and the electoral votes and I'm going to get rid of this record count and now I want to go in to style this so I want to get rid of a few things and I want to add a few additional things so into style on my table first thing I'm going to do is get rid of those row numbers and then I'm going to go into each metric and can change that to a number a heat map and a bar pub so I'm changing them both to bar pub and I'm going to put show number on both of them as well so I'm showing the number of votes and showing the number of electoral votes I'm going to move the electoral votes first because I'm going to do a target on that so I'm going to flip this out I'm going to change the name of votes to popular votes so we can distinguish between the electoral and popular vote back into styles I want to show a target at 270 because that's what you need to win the election in electoral college votes and I've got my target in there which shows who's won the election so I don't like this pagination but you can't get rid of it so I'm going to put a shape over this and just uh, change the color of this to the background of the dashboard. In Looker Studio, sometimes you have to do things like this, but very easy to do. Just change this to the same as the background color and then that pagination is gone. Next, thing I want to do is I want to add a filter. So I'm going to add a control drop down list and then just drag this all the way across. The filter I want for this dashboard is state. You could do a couple of different filters here if you want, but I'm just going to do this state filter in here and then I'm just going to to make this look a little bit nicer in style. So in style, I'm gonna go down to the background, gonna change that color to the blue we're looking at, gonna change the font of the text to white, and then I'm gonna give it this a red outline in border. So into the border color here, I'm just gonna give this the red outline, the same as my dashboard. And you see why it's important to take the same colors from the image uh, and they will come in and it makes your style a lot easier. So now I'm going to add my geo charts. So just add one at a time, get that right, and then you can just duplicate this out. So I've added one geo chart here that's taken up about roughly half the bottom of the page. I'm going to put state into my geo dimension. Then I need to actually go into this dimension here, change it from a text into a geo, and I'm going to put country subdivision first level. So first level of state and this is roughly what I want but I need to filter this to one candidate because I'm going to have one map for each candidate because you can't put them both on the same one in Looker Studio. So I'm going to put votes in here and I'm going to change this to popular vote and then I can put a filter in here and I'm just going to filter this out into where the candidate equals Kamala Harris because this is the democratic um side of the vote here. So I'm going to save this and this 
will filter what I have, which is the popular vote just for Kamala Harris. And then what I want to do is I want to go into style and do the colors in here. So I want to do a title, which is Democratic vote. And then I want to do my color scheme in here. So it's it's grand for the ones that have the most. Mid is grand, but I want to turn that, uh, I want to turn that min then into white because when I'm looking at electoral elector college votes the white equals zero so now I can see where I've got votes and where I've got none I want to get rid of this legend in here so I just click on show the legend and then I'm pretty much done with this so I can duplicate this out and the changes I need to make are pretty simple first I need to create a new filter. I want to get this filter off the map. I'm going to change this filter to Donald Trump. And then I have a Republican electoral college vote in here. I'm going to call this Republican vote and change this red in here. So now I've got my electoral college maps out into this one and I have an optional metric I put two metrics in here so optional metric is the popular vote if I wanted to flip that across but you can see now my dashboard's working my filter's working and it was fairly simple to put together I hope you found this video useful any questions ask down below and follow for more Looker Studio tutorials